How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the set interval function in JavaScript. So this function allows you to run your code on a timer. So it lets you execute a function every X amount of milliseconds. So um, as an example, we're going to create a web page that will display a number um, and then add one to that number every second that goes by. So we're going to make our own version of a little timer. Okay, so inside the source code, let's begin by first creating an element that will hold the actual number. So let's make a new h2 tag inside here um, and set the value or the text for that tag um, as zero for now. So if I was to save this and refresh the browser, we get this right here. So this will be um, one, then two, then three for every second that goes by. It's going to be increased. Okay. So um, back inside here, um, let's just give an ID to this h2 tag. Okay. Let's say ID is equal to something like timer text. That way we can reference it inside the JavaScript code. Okay. So speaking of that, Let's create a new constant, which will be the actual h2 tag. So let's type out const down here. We'll call this one timer text. This will be equal to document.getElementById. We're going to pass in timer text inside here. Okay, so now this timer text constant is equal to that tag right there. All right, so. Um, let's create a button okay and when pressed it's going to initiate or start the timer okay so let's make a new button down here okay let's just say start timer as the text so saving and refreshing will give us this right here so if we press this button we want this to start increasing by one every second. Alright, so back inside here. Let's also give an ID to this start timer button. Let's say ID is equal to um, btn start. Alright, cool. So, we can now reference this button inside JavaScript similar to the um, timer text tag. So, make a new constant We'll call this one btn start equal to um, get element by id and pass in btn start inside here. So now we have these two tags or elements referenced inside JavaScript. Okay, so when this button gets pressed on, we want the timer to start. So we can add an event listener to the actual button. Okay, so down here, let's say btn start dot add event listener we're going to watch out for the click event let's put click inside here and then a function which will execute when the button gets pressed okay so inside this this um, event handler function let's use the set interval function okay so let's type out set interval down here this takes in two arguments, the first one being the handler function. So you type out a function inside here, okay, just like normal, and this will be the function that executes every X amount of milliseconds. So um, inside here, for now, let's just say um, console.log, let's say hi, all right, just for now. As the second argument, put a comma down here, you provide the delay in milliseconds. So let's put 1000 inside here. So this means one second. So this means, this whole thing means every one second perform or execute this function. So let's save this and refresh the browser and then check the console up here. If I press start timer, we get that every second that goes by we get that message okay so that is the functionality of the set interval function so 
let's change this code right here to update um, this timer text text okay so we have this number it starts at zero so let's make a new variable in JavaScript which keeps track of that number so down here let's make a new variable let's call this one um, let's just say count okay so count is equal to zero to begin with when the page loads up okay so let's just save this inside this this function um, let's begin by first incrementing the count by one so let's type count plus equals one okay and now we can change the text of this h2 tag to be the actual value of count so down here let's say timer text dot text value sorry text content the text content is equal to the value of count so saving this and refreshing will give us the desired result let's refresh here press start timer one two three and there we are okay so what's happening here is um, this function is being executed every one second we're increasing the count by one and then simply um, you know making the value of the actual h2 tag um, the count variable okay so that is the set interval function there's also a clear interval function so clear interval allows you to stop the interval from reoccurring okay so we're going to make a new button um, right here which will pause the execution of the timer okay so back inside here let's make a new button and we we'll call this one btn pause and say pause timer right here so saving and refreshing will give us this if I press start timer this works if I press pause timer we want this to stop from um, obviously just increasing okay so let's create that right now so this will work because the set interval function will actually give you an ID which represents that interval okay so um, uh, I'll just show you so if you actually create a new variable or even a new constant so I'll make a new constant down here okay we'll call this one um, maybe interval ID so interval ID is equal to and then set interval okay so we can now alert out or even just console.log we can console.log um, the value of interval ID okay so as I said um, the set interval function gives us an ID which is a number we're going to store it inside interval ID and then print out the value of interval ID so saving this and refreshing and then on this button if I click on it we get one in the console so this is saying that this interval right here um, has the ID of one so we actually pass this value this ID into a separate function called clear interval which will then stop the interval from running okay so back inside here we're gonna move this interval ID um, into the global scope so up here outside of the actual event listener okay so let's get rid of that right there and keep the interval ID part all right up here let's make a new variable and call this one interval ID okay so now we have this ID um, you know kept track of outside the event listener we can also remove the console.log okay so now we're gonna simply um, say when this button is pressed we're gonna clear the interval of interval ID okay so let's get a reference to the btn pause button so we make a new constant down here 
I'm going to call this one BTN pause, okay, equal to um, the ID of BTN pause. Okay, so let's once again add an event listener to this button. So we'll say BTN pause dot add event listener. We're going to add the click event for the callback function. We are going to, as I said, simply use the clear interval function. Let's type out clear interval. Okay. Now you pass in the ID. So we pass in interval ID. Okay. So now saving this and refreshing should hopefully give us the result. Let's refresh. Let's press start timer. One, two, three. Let's pause it. Stopped. Okay. Let's try again. Start timer. Five, six, seven. Pause it. Stopped. All right. And that is how you can use the set interval and the clear interval functions in JavaScript. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.